We've got all this space but nowhere for the kids to play. So let's create a DIY boat sand pit and the kids can sail away in for hours. Taking your backyard from this to this. These are the tools and equipment that you'll need to build a boat sand pit. The basic structure of our sand pit is made from sleepers. I'm going to cut my sleepers to length with the drop saw and I'm going to create the shape of a boat using straight cuts and mitres. With all your timber cut, lay out your framework, pre-drill and screw it all together to form the base. At the front and the back of the boat, we're adding some supports for our decking. These will sit inside the frame. Because this is play equipment for kids, I want to make sure that all the screw heads are sunk into the timber to keep it safe. So I'm going to be pre-drilling with a countersunk bit. The base level of our framework is now complete. The great thing about this design is it's completely up to you how you want it to proceed. I'm going to do a second level at the front and another two levels at the back. When you're putting on your upper levels, make sure that you pre-drill a hole on an angle and then screw the screw in diagonally so that you've got maximum hold. This will hold it all together. The hull of my boat's now complete by building up layers around the base. Now I'm going to add decking in the bow and the stern so the kids have somewhere to sit. Measure the space at the bow. For the bow, I'll need a few mitre cuts, but the stern will be more straightforward, plenty of straight cuts. Transfer the measurements onto your timber. Repeat the process for all the straight cuts on your decking and then move to the mitre cuts for the bow. Cut your first mitre and then measuring from the long side, measure out the length that you need for your piece of decking. To lay your decking, pre-drill the holes with a countersink drill bit so that your screws sit deep into the timber and the kids can't scratch themselves on them. Then screw them down. Repeat the process for the stern, pre-drilling and screwing in your decking. So that's our sand pit complete. The kids have got somewhere to sit and play. You can leave it as it is, but I'm going to add some flourishes, some rails, a mast, a sail, and all the extra bits and pieces that a boat needs. I've lined the bottom of the sand pit with plastic so the weeds don't go through. Now we just add the sand. There you have it, a fantastic boat sand pit. Hours and hours of fun for the kids. You can sit back and enjoy watching them play in something that you've created yourself. This project is created from hard-wearing sleepers and galvanised screws, so it will last for years and years. Basic box shapes to start with, and then we've moved into the realms of imagination so the kids can have hours and hours of fun. Taking your backyard from this to this.